Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on uh, helicopters missile attacks and how to uh, survive from the missile attacks. So here if I stand behind some object we wouldn't get damage from the missiles just like any other explosion and if not we will get hit. So let's see the demonstration. Here I have implemented a shortcut to speed up the game so we can easily wait until the helicopter arrives okay it's there now if i stay here here comes a missile i don't get hit because nothing is okay this time i got hit because i was exposed to the explosion right that's what we are going to work on today let me show the demonstration again speed up for the helicopter okay here it comes and the missile is coming oh I got hit because the missile exploded here and I was here all right so let's see how to do these things today okay so I have added this simple piece of code which speed up the time so we can easily go to the place where the helicopter comes and start attacking so if I press 2 you see now the game is speed up so we can quickly helicopter is coming quickly now if I press 2 again it slows down to the regular time dilation which is one and here you see the missiles do come but they don't really do any damage to the player so that's what I want to address now All right first I'll here this is fire missiles function I think for the missile we do have shooter. yeah we need to first set shooter because the missile is also a child of bullet let me open the missile blueprint So if I now open the missile blueprint, you can see it's a child of the bullet class. So in the bullet class, I implemented this uh, shooter variable. So this is uh, what will be used when we try to do damage to determine the friendly. So fr for the friendly fire detection okay now that i have added it it should do dumb some damage but also i feels like the missiles are somewhat not working correctly they are going they are not exactly going into the direction that it should go uh, not really actually it goes it does follow the direction of the nozzle which is uh, when the helicopter is shooting should be pointed at the player so in the first time it may go some other way because it takes a bit of time to turn into the player's direction right so now let's test again press we speed up 
Okay, it's coming. Now, even though the first mission might go somewhere else. Yeah, second one is coming. But it didn't explode. Why didn't it explode? So, on the missile, we call this motor function and yeah, it does move and tray surfaces. Oh, this move is for the bullet. For the missile, I have overridden that, but I think before here, after. 0 0.5 seconds we add it to the pool to the bullet pool so this delay might not be enough we need time to see the explosion let's check the pool function oh it doesn't really do anything it just adds to the adds to this array so it's not destroyed right so for further clarifications here let me fire only missiles without firing these normal bullets and also when we update the shoot target, I'll add a draw debug line for duration. So we can see what's happening. Okay, there comes Oh, it took the damage, wait, but didn't I disable normal bullets? Sorry, I should have skipped this part. Oh, I got killed by a normal dude. Okay, here comes the helicopter. What's happening there? Alright, without giving the shoot target, we can't shoot missiles. So, we don't need this part. Then let's disable this with thing here and the firing. Okay, helicopter comes. What is going on over there? For fire missiles, I'll modify this code a little bit. I can leave the same code for player firing, which is this one, but for fire missiles, for NPCs or for AI, 
let's modify this a little bit so let me duplicate the same code and instead of this shoot target let me remove that and add the shoot target as a parameter right. and where we call this here we can use that location as the target okay now we can skip this firing part so we can easily test it out for the issues with the firing comes the helicopter right this time it were properly okay so let's see uh, again if it is possible to survive the helicopter missile attacks I stay behind a cover. Yeah. Right. It's going through this object. So well, that's not good. We have to make sure it's not penetrating any objects. So, how can we fix that? Right here, um, I'll add another function and. really here let me collapse this to a function yeah it's that way it's easier I'll call it get missile target right now here nothing is there for now so what I'm gonna do is let's do a uh, Line trace by channel, not multi, just line trace. The starting point is well, for now, I'll use the location, so the helicopter location. And this is the target. Alright. Ah, oh, wait. Hold on. No. We can get direction vector from the helicopter location to the target and then multiply it by some large value. Say fifty thousand and mm, add it to that location. So that should be the target. And I'll use visibility. Uh wait. Yeah, we are using visibility, so it should be fine. Uh, even if I use bullet trace, that also should be fine. Right. 
right now if we do it something like it location that's the hit target if not if we do not hit anything hit target should be this whatever this is right now it should not move through any objects let's see some snapping okay it does not penetrate but still because of the because of the explosion happens closely I do get damage but that's fine we need to have a higher wall or something to prevent that so well, let's test that too. Like this. Okay, now let's stay here. still get damage let's see why so this is the explode function and damaging is happening here damage nearby objects oh here we do multi sphere trace for objects okay so here I don't think we consider any any other objects that's in between the objects that it's going to damage but to test that this is explosive component uh, test it so we can see the multi sphere line trace, multi sphere trace. Right. Right now, let's do something like this. Um, before we call on explosion hit on the objects we need to check if uh, here we can do this is the explosive component right we can do a line trace another line trace by channel starting point is uh, since this is uh, explosive component which is an actor component we need to use the owner component so just like we do it here let me copy that and the end is whatever this uh, target actor that we are going to check if it's going to hit 
get a location and I'll choose bullet trace because if something that can stop a bullet is in between then it shouldn't damage the character so as actors to ignore I'll make an array and give a reference to the target actor that we want to check because if the target actor is going to get the hit then it doesn't make sense then we should still do the damage so here if this is false that means nothing is blocking there is no blocking object so no covers in between the actor that we want to cause damage the nearby actor and the explosion all right Shall we first test with the grenade because the same explosion component is used there? Okay, it did work. But if I throw a grenade over there and hide here, yeah, it didn't cause me any damage. Let's speed up and test with the chopper. Okay, it didn't do the damage. Right, now it did because there was nothing blocking in between. Alright, so it's working as expected. So we can remove this debug type now. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.